Uh, so if you recall, I was playing with this uh, compact fluorescent light bulb uh, electronic ballast. And um, I was trying to measure outputs uh, given a 115 volt input. I was expecting 250 volt output to the filaments on the lamp. And um, I wasn't getting what I'd expect. I wasn't getting the voltages or the frequencies I'd expect. And uh, what I did was I choked on the circuit diagram for a while and then I figured out, well, maybe a load has to be connected in order for uh, all the transistors to properly bias and all the uh, transformers to, uh, you know, activate and, and get the circuit in motion. So I painstakingly, and I'm no solderer, and you can see those filament leads are like, Cubes, and the leads coming out of the electronic ballast were very thin as well and I'm using like you know I don't know what that looks like 16 gauge copper wire and I I suck at soldering to begin with but I painstakingly soldered the filament back up to the outputs um, and if all goes well and my prediction is right um, when I hit the on switch back there um, Something should happen, and then I'll take some measurements. But you know, I got to thinking. I never the bulb was out of a box, but I never got to thinking if it was even working to begin with when I took it all apart. So um, one quick check to make sure I didn't solder wires, cross anything up, anything's touching. Um, let's just turn it on and see what happens. Let me. Uh, here we go. Whoa. So the ballast works, my soldering job works, and the light works. Um, so, let me turn on my voltmeter. This is a shit show. I don't know how I'm going to get all this on screen. Especially with the light on, blocking my own light. And I don't have clips, so I'm all tangled. Now the camera's falling. Nice view of my crotch. Let me tighten this up. Let me see if um, let me see if I can hold things. Let me see if I can hold things and show you the meter at the same time. The stand sucks. This is a hold on. Let me let me just show you this while I work this, and uh, you tell me what you see on the AC voltage scale. I'm seeing five volts or six volts filament voltage. On one side, hold on. I was. I really, I don't have clips, I'm using probes, so that doesn't help. So I'm seeing about five volts there. And let me check the other side. Why does one side say 72 volts? Let me come down here. Jeez. This is odd. The light works. Yet I'm getting a low voltage on one filament and a higher voltage on the other filament. Let me check the frequency.
So that says 48 kilohertz. And this one says 48 kilohertz. So that's interesting. Uh, my predictions seem to be right that um, without the load connected, you're not going to get the output voltage you would expect like you would in a car battery or a house outlet. The circuit has to be connected in order for everything to kind of... The, uh, the um, transistors to fire, to be properly biased. I So I'm getting... If you recall from my previous video, I was getting strange frequency readings. Now I'm getting 48 kilohertz on both filaments. Uh, I'm just curious about the voltage and um, again, one side is, I don't know, it kind of bounces around. One minute I see three, five volts. And then the other side is consistently like, well, now that's reading like, although I'm confused. Let me come back down here. That one up to 40 volts. Yeah, I wonder if the, uh, volt, the voltmeter on here is iffy at higher frequencies. Let me turn off auto. I don't even know if you can see this video's shot. I'm the worst YouTuber ever. Yeah, that is all over the place. I don't even know what that does. Turn it off. Two point seven volts. Sixty five volts. So there's definitely some strange imbalance going on, so weigh in on that. But the frequency is what I'd expect. There's forty seven kilohertz. Forty seven 47 kilohertz so let me turn it off so both sides of the filament are reading 47 kilohertz um one side of the filament voltage is reading six volts on and off and the other side is reading like 60 70 volts so um you know i'm, I'm picking away at this there's not a lot of information on i mean you can pull up any kind of light bulb online and you will not find this model or any other model, you'll find a lot of European schematics. So this must be like the biggest kept secret in the entire nation uh, next to our uh, plan for our economy and uh, uh, what's going to happen to our uh, 401ks and bank accounts and when the internet crashes. Um, you can see I've moved on to light beer from Miller tonight because I uh, spent so much time soldering that I ha didn't have a chance to go buy any quality beer. Um, I don't know. This was aggravating me all day, so I wanted to just... Uh, play around and post a video and again i guess the question i leave to my audience is if anybody has any information on compact fluorescent light bulb ballasts and they understand why there might be an imbalance on the filament voltage i'm pleased that we have a working unit and i didn't waste my time soldering this for nothing because it would have been a, a failure but I, I am pleased that i think i proved that everything has to be connected and now i'm getting 48 kilohertz uh, and a, lo a low voltage, high frequency at the uh, input to this lamp, and everything seems to be in operating order. So, and nothing blew up. I succeeded in living through another video. All right, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please subscribe.